New shooter coverage of Cine Gear 2023 is sponsored by b &H and Atlas Lens Co. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at Cine Gear 2023. I'm at the LC Tech booth with Jasper. Now, this is a it's something you've been working on a while, but this is the latest iteration of your electronic variable ND system that goes in front of lens. Yes, exactly. So we have been on the market for several years with a small sized filter that is integrated into the cameras. So then we sell OEM and the camera manufacturer takes care of the integration, the electronics, uh, the mount. Uh, at this show, we are for the first time showing mock-ups of a matte box size filter. So we had took some additional time to develop the larger size. Smaller is easier inside the lens, uh, inside the camera is easier because of not so steep angles. But we go in front, it's a different challenge. But now we are very close to be a level to have a, a, a product that can be launched. What's, what are some of the technical challenges with going from a smaller size to a large size? It's mainly controlling the color. So uh, avoiding color vignetting at short lenses. If you have 16 millimeter lens, or, um, then we saw it with the older generation, not so much anymore. And also color shift. Yeah. And in terms of um, the amount of ND that this is going to be, you've, you're going to have come up with two different options? Yeah, so the internal one that is already on the market is 0.6 to 2.1. Uh, for the matte box in front of the lens solution, we're thinking a little bit less. So we will have from 0.45 to uh, 1.5, 1.5 to 5 stops reduction. And it's impossible with these type of solutions, isn't it? You can't have zero ND. You're always going to have some yeah, ND in front. Yeah, that is correct. Correct, because we have absorbing material inside. So if we have no absorbing material, there's no range. So you need to start at some point, and then you have a, uh, can dim it to darker. And the plan is for these to fit into what size um, filters in matte boxes? So at IBC, in <laughs> Continue on. Yeah. <laughs> so, at, so here we show a mock-up 4x4. At IBC, we will have it in a tray uh, for 565. We will have uh, drive electronics integrated on the train. On the train. Uh, different power options from the camera battery. It can be D-tap, it can be two-pin aux, it can be USB-C. So we will provide with different cable solutions. It will have push buttons changing in incremental steps, one third or one quarter or one half. It will also have a wheel, so you can call it continuously because there is no uh, discrete steps of the technology. It depends on the drive electronics. And also you, you mentioned to me before that uh, you'd be able to control this via Bluetooth. Exactly. So that is possible to develop, so it can be app controlled. So if you have the camera uh, on the crane, you can control it. And you were telling us, uh, you know, Probably September, you're going to have a mock-up version of that, and then for, it'll be for sale for next year. And, exactly. and what sort of price are you sort of hoping to get it into? Uh, so we are trying to understand that at this show, to find the acceptance level, but maybe between two and three thousand US would be the retail price. 